Shalom, brothers and sisters out there. It's your brother Makai from One Nation, One Power, the Church of Christ. Man, ooh, I'm getting sick and tired of all these damn super brews out there talking they smack about Christians and other people. Straight up cussing on their, their little channels. This and that. Blah, blah, this and that. Rejecting the water baptism, man. What the hell is wrong with you? Damn, have some damn common sense. You got souls to save. Stop being children of the damn devil. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Damn. Grow some damn nuts. We need some men over here, not no damn little boys. When we became men, we put away childish things. Damn, what is wrong with you guys? Stop being children of the devil. Damn. How many times do we have to tell you, you must be water baptized and you need to repent in order to get inside the kingdom of the Most High? How many times do we have to tell you this stuff, man? How many times? Those that want to keep doing this crap, I'm a... I'm a I, I pray to the Most High He take you out. Straight up, man. I pray to the Most High He take you out, and then bam, you're gonna get water. You, you're gonna get baptized regardless. If you are, if you don't get inside the water, you are gonna get baptized regardless. Go and check out my other video I did because it says in the sealed portion that you are regardless are going to get baptized whether you reject water baptism or if you're going to get in it. Those that want to reject it and procrastinate the day of their salvation, they're going to get dealt with on judgment day. They're going to get thrown into the lake of fire. Y'all going to get baptized with fire. Y'all going to get your asses burnt. Straight up. Like for real, man. What What is wrong with you guys? Stop doing this to the people that you have big platforms on. Like for real, man. These people are watching you. These people are watching all of us. Like for real, man. Google is, is basically keeping their eyes on you little hateful super rules out there and making a name for all of us. They're, they're discriminating you just like you some niggas over here on the street corners selling dope. That's how they're looking at you. And they're looking at us like we're selling dope over there on the street corners too. But we're out here preaching the gospel. What is wrong with you guys? Damn, man. You freaking dudes, man. Oh, I wish I could just knock you the hell out right quick, man. Straight up. Y'all pissing me off. Y'all are pissing me off, man. Get angry and say not. Hell yeah, I'm mad. I'm mad right now. Freaking damn super bruce, you Pharisees, man. Straight up. Y'all Pharisees. I'm gonna get out of scripture real quick, man. This is for you guys. I don't care. This on my hair, I don't give a damn. I'm gonna show you a couple of scriptures and the New Testament because I know y'all some Old Testament believers. We can, we can fish y'all out, watch. We can school you in your own little word. This right here, the Holy Bible, this primarily goes to the southern kingdom of the uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And y'all stiff-necked, rebellious, hard-headed, stiff-necked son of guns. Man, that's what y'all are. We are going to show you how to rightly divide the word of the Most High. All right? Watch this. Let's cut you up real quick. Let's go to Matthew 23. Matthew 23. And look at verse 13. Matthew 23 and 13. But this is to you, 
Pharisees and all you super brutes that want to reject the water baptism. But woe to you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. What? For you shut up the kingdom of heaven. You're just like your damn rebellious ancestors. Sitting on in the, in the, in the highest points in the congregations. You damn Pharisees wearing those damn uh, uh, little garments that look the nicest. What the hell is wrong with y'all, man? Y'all shutting up the kingdom of heaven. Y'all children of the devil. Straight up, man. But woe to you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you to, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For neither yourselves, yourselves, neither you suffer them their intent to go in. For your Man, y'all got thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of uh, watchers on your platforms. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all these Twitters accounts, all these social medias. You guys got large amount of followers. Y'all just like these Christianity churches out here, man. Y'all got a lot of people watching you. Y'all got a lot of people tithing in your plate. Look at you. <clears throat> you care more about your outward appearance than your inward appearance. Get your act together. I'm lifting up my damn voice like a trumpet right now. And I don't care if I lose it or not. I'm mad. I'm hella mad right now, man. Freaking damn people don't know how to treat people, man. What the hell wrong with you? If y'all see a bum on the side of the street, I bet you go there and kick him. Now nah, a brother like me, I'll go help him up. Man, the hell wrong with you guys? Grow some damn nuts. It's like the damn freaking Christianity church cut your damn nuts off. Made you become little boys trying to preach this word. Man, grow some damn nuts. You little boy. Yeah, you're nothing but a little boy. Let's go to the red letters real quick. Red letters. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. <clears throat> and he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. What? He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. <clears throat> He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. What? He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. That is faith plus works written in the gospel. Can you see? Can you read? Do you need to go back to school? Huh? You damn little boys. Can you see? <clears throat> Can you see? Can you read, you little boys? And he said unto them, Go into you all the world. That is everybody. That precepts with Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20. Teach all nations. Don't just teach the nation of Israel because the nation of Israel, we already know it. It's it's like preschool level. John 3.16. Yes, we already know that is applying to Israel. But we, yes, we already know we can go to Hebrews and precept over there with the world's plural S. We can go to uh, Isaiah chapter, was it 45 and 17. Yes, we can already tell that. That is some elementary school level. Uh, precepting right there. Yes, we already know that. But the Most High is telling you to go into all the world, all four corners. All four corners. Why? Is it because our people are in all four corners of the earth? Y'all some damn Pharisees, man. Verse 16. <clears throat> he 
that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Believing on Christ is a commandment. Repenting of your sins is a commandment. Being water baptized is a commandment. Whether you want to reject the water baptism, you still going to get your ass burnt with the fire baptism. Stop teach <clears throat> stop uh, preaching this word if you're not baptized. Stop. Stop teaching the word of God if you are not baptized. And here's another one we can go to as well. 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Because y'all ought to go to Paul. Just like any other Christian out there will go to Paul, right? Oh, Christ sent me not to baptize. So he sent me to go out there and preach the word. Yes, we already know that. Paul's calling is not your calling. Your calling is not Paul's calling, okay? You cannot do what Paul does. He does it in his own ways. You are not Paul. You are not the Messiah, all right? 1 Corinthians 11. And 1. 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. It says... Be ye followers of me, even as I am of Christ. Did Paul die for you? <clears throat> Did Paul die for you? I'm going to lose my voice over this video right now, man. I don't care. Most I could take away my vocals. So be it. Did Paul die for you? Did Paul die for you? Is Paul the Messiah? No, he is not. Paul is not the Messiah. Paul followed Christ. Christ got up in the water. So that means his 12 disciples needed to go inside the water as well. Okay? I need y'all to pay attention. It says, Be ye followers of me, even as I am of Christ. See, towards the end of Paul's epistles, he says that some are going to wrestle these epistles unto their own destruction. If you're not precepting these words and these, these, these uh, scriptures to, together in their proper way that the Most High gave to us, then you're going to be damned. Is that what you want? I pray that the Most High has mercy upon you. Hell is not meant for you, my brother out there that's preaching hate. Remember this. Hell is not meant for you, my brother. If you're preaching hate, hell is not meant for you. Yes, there is an afterlife. Yes, there is a such place called hell. Why? Because the scriptures testify it. Go and look at the rich man and Lazarus. The rich man was begging Abraham for one little drop of water. One little drop of water because it was so hot and burning. And that's when the rich man told Abraham, Hey, let me go up there. Let me go and, and, and talk to my people so that they can believe that I came back from the dead. And Abraham's like, No, they need to listen to the prophets. They need to listen to the prophets. I pray that the Most High has mercy upon you brothers out there that are preaching hate. This is what's wrong with our people, man. 
Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And you thinking that you know how to read scripture, man. Get up out of here. Get up out of here, man. Get up out of here. If y'all don't know how to precept the scriptures together, and you're just quoting one scripture and you got no precepts after it, get up out of here. Put the Bible down and go get baptized. And then, and then... Go and listen to a, tree, a, a teacher that's preaching like me and Elder Ayo and, and the rest of the elders at One Nation, One Power. Like Elder Kordash. Elder uh, uh, Little Son Sabal. Elder Tony. The rest of them. Go out there. Go listen to us. We're preaching the word to you. With much is given, much is required. This is why I'm talking to you like this. This is why I'm... I'm willing to lose my breath over this over this mess right now. Go and get baptized. You're running out of time. Stop playing around. Work out your own soul salvation with fear. What what? With fear. Fear is the first step to begin being accepted by the Most High. And you're not accepted by him because you don't fear him. If you feared him, you would listen to his words. You will listen to his words. Get your act together. You are running out of time. I pray that the Most High shakes your soul right now. Stops you in your path. Shows that water to you. And I'm out. Shalom.